Welcome back, guys. We're live to Alpha's Talk. We're here. We're not going no place. Had a great day today. Today, we're going to talk to you about the ATF and this brace ruling. Hmm. We'll see you when we get back. Before we do that, we got to thank this lovely sponsor. <laughs> got to do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't have a choice. These are the people. And uh, before I even start this, I need you guys to like that like button and share. Um, we're going to try to say that more often. There's a lot of people getting on my butt but not saying that. So uh, we're going to have to start saying it from now on. Yeah, then we're going to have to get on these people but for not doing it. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are, because this is a big problem. Right now, we're live on YouTube and Rumble. So uh, support us. It's free. It's free. Oh, yes. It's free. Just a click. Yep. Just a click. So um, go to sabertantactical.com. Go to the top right-hand corner. Click on classes. And there you go. Yep. And we still... Um, Finding, fine tuning, so to speak, but uh, we'll have similar offerings as we had in 2022. Um, our mainstay is a private one on one firearms training course, and that's for you and a group of your friends, or you can bring your loved ones, or whichever way you like it. We also are opening up to young people. Okay, I guess I'm on this one. My problem. Whoa! Oh, that was, got that was, yeah, yeah, man, it was oh. me. I was yeah. riding, riding blind. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, we're back. So anyway, um, we're one on one, and uh, you get a private course uh, that we we understand what's going on, and then we um, fine tune our training for the individuals at hand. So if you're an intermediate shooter, we won't start at basics. We actually start advancing from your skill level. We do assessments, um, watch you, see how you handle the firearm, and see where we can go from there. If you're a brand new person, we take your, um, what do you call it, crawl. We crawl, mm -hmm. and then we crawl, walk, walk around. and then we run. What's up, yeah. WK? What's that in my mouth? Exactly. Um, I think I'm going to go live on um, my Instagram. Tell these clowns to get over here. They want to hear something. Boom. I'm playing around. Um, so, uh, um, everybody on Instagram, you hear me right now? Come on over to YouTube, the two alphas talk. That's where we're at. So, um, with that, uh, I just noticed I got another tab up here. It says laser, laser engraving. I didn't know mm -hmm. that tab existed. Oh, I need to fix it. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's I'm a lot still, of laser engraving. Yeah. Work, work in progress. I'm still working on it. I didn't even know why it was up there. And uh, so we're, we're going to fix the rest of that. And uh, But we had a great day today. Uh, we had a video shoot out at the, uh, out the at vault. The and uh marietta georgia and um we got some good footage and uh it should be a fun show we're going to show you guys next week and we also did a lot of uh networking and, and things of that nature going on mm -hmm. um what's up everybody on instagram come on over to youtube and uh, watch the show we're going to talk about the atf brace so don't be shy and um uh, Matter of fact, I need to put that in the uh, in the text here. Mm -hmm. Then pin it. Yeah, pin it. All right, ATF brace brace ruling. A lot of people are very confused about this ruling that just came out, and a lot of people thinking. Um, I don't know what they're thinking, but mostly a lot of people uh, fix that. And uh, a lot of people are just panicking and not really getting on the uh, the internet and actually um, doing your research to figure out what's going on. It's available too. Yeah, it's too available. It's ridiculous. It's so available. And uh, 
So, but you guys need to get on the internet and uh, figure out what's going on. This ATF ruling, what they basically did, they gave them, there's five different scenarios you can do. We can still own pistols, AR pistols. A lot of people thinking with this uh, stabilizer brace ruling that you can't actually own the firearm at all. So what these clowns are doing is sitting here panicking, and that's what they wanted them to do. But that's because that's, this 400-page document is wrote that way. It's so vague that it's allowing people to panic and um, fear that they don't want to become a felon because all these guys are talking Billy Joe bad. And now the ATF has came out with a rule, and every single one of them is about to roll over. Now, I do see some guys on the other side are saying, you know, let happen what happens. Um, however, um, but the people who are openly panicking on Instagram and anywhere else, they're probably panicking, probably Facebook, too. And uh, yeah, I've seen a couple of uh, posts on Facebook where people are saying it's a free um uh, what's it called? The form, the free, yeah, it's uh, a free uh, stamp, tax stamp, yeah. SBR form, de- right. tax stamp, and then right. and then being misled because there's others are saying, does that cover every gun that you own or just each one? And nobody's answering it because it's an individual thing. You get one um, it, record for each firearm. Yes. No, not really. Well, it's yeah, it was one tax stamp for each mm-hmm. firearm. So right. NF, NFA items for tax stamp that's how it goes so if you buy a can that's a tax stamp you buy you have the brace it's tax stamp you have an sbr that's a different tax stamp so that's six hundred dollars so um however in this case (laughs) since your brace is not a serial number item you will be registering a ar pistol that's not illegal to be put under an NFA ruling. So basically you're creating your problem for yourself, mm-hmm. you know, um, because you don't have to register your pistol. You don't have to register at all. You know, you just take the brace off and you're fine. That's all you have to do. Mm-hmm. You know, and, but, but, but it's again, as you said, people are panicking over nothing. Right. They're going completely nuts. Right. Because th- w- what you have to do is it go back to around the 90s before the brace even um, was a thing. And, and you just fire on to- the same way that you used before. It'd be when the, in the original, first time I ever saw one of those things, had a foam uh, covering Pat on cover the on. buffer tube. Mm-hmm. And remember, right. you couldn't put it up to your and, shoulder. And, and people were using it then. So what's right. the big deal? And back then, there was no stipulations about um, putting it on your shoulder or not. Right, that came when the braces came out. Right, because the the brace looks just like a stock. Let's let's be fair, the brace looks and, like a stock. And how this is my philosophy: How are they going to know you have it on your shoulder or have it on your cheek if you're not taking photographs and videos of the, of you doing it? Stop self snitching, people. You know, uh, get off. Right. Hey, man, what's up? Get off the internet and instagram and stop posting this stuff that's falling under the atf ruling if it's you know mm-hmm. if you notice what i post is my uh sbr because i know i have a stamp for it so i saw it that's majority of the one i post that's the one you guys see the raggediest one <laughs> you know raggedy's ar that's my sbr and uh frankenstein right the frankenstein but or hmm. my PCC or you'll see something like that or some pistols or something. But I don't go through my whole whatever is in my closet and and try to show everything that I have. You don't do that. You right. know what I'm saying? But you're also seasoned. You're not a new guy. Yeah. I no. see a lot of new folks. They you know the one guy had a picture, five guns I think it was, and he said his arsenal is coming along. And I'm like, okay, I understand. But never say the word. Everyone. Arsenal. All you have to do is pinch and spread, and I can see the serial numbers. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, you're they're showing good. them. They're yep. showing the serial numbers. And I mind I you, sp- I know there's some people out there that go, "Oh, what, what's the big deal?" Because they already know you had it. You fill out a you 4473. Get- the government knows about it. I got you, but don't make it easy for them. 
But if you didn't buy that firearm uh, from a reputable dealer, and what's to say if you bought that from a friend of yours and you didn't realize that firearm stolen? Yeah. Now you just posted that serial number in there. That ATF is going overzealous. ATF can get that photograph, run that serial number, and now you got a stolen firearm. Guess what? ATF is national. They can cross state lines and come get you, bro. So I don't know what what are you guys thinking? Those your serial numbers can track you. So, mm-hmm. so when you get back to the ATF race, they will. yeah, they will. Uh, it's 120 days until this thing goes into effect. Now, it's a lot can happen in 120 days. I heard there's two different lawsuits coming next week. Uh, Jim Jordan of the, of the House supposed to be starting an investigation, but who knows how how effective it's going to be. The, AT, uh, the um, uh, Supreme Court already ruled that brace is not a threat, but these uh, bump stocks are. And so um, it's all up in the air right now. So the only thing you have... But I think what you the two comparisons that you did, the stock doesn't effectively help you do anything unless you... No. Are, quote unquote if the originally designed for it was people who had disabilities had a hard time picking up a rifle right right so that's what that was for to help break you could strap it on your arm and all that it morphed into something else and now they're trying to pull it back the bump stock actually helps or manipulates the firearm to the point where it will um make it produce more uh, shoot faster right Mm -hmm. so the lethality of the two bump stock has more lethality (laughs) it's more lethal then, uh, stock. Yeah, I'm about to make up some yeah, what, what, words. Making up words. Making up words. And, <laughs> and capitulating. But yeah, right. so I think that's the, the the comparison but with those two. But at the same time, none of this stuff, none of this stuff stops crime. No. It makes and, criminals more so than it stops crime. Oh, they just they what they're doing is making eight million criminals. Because mm-hmm. that's how many Eight, I think it's eight million to uh, ten million um, uh, bump stock, not bump stocks, but braces that was sold of all the years and it's out there. And see, they don't know how many is out there, but they guarantee you're gonna find a lot of them because a lot of these clowns are gonna go out there and and, and register their stuff. Exactly. Um, and uh, and only thing that's gonna do is create a database for them. And once they create that database, they're going to say, well, we got too many braces out here. So let's go ahead and uh, ban them. Mm-hmm. And they come into your house to get it. Yep. Because they know where you live. They know what it looks like. They know you already gave them permission. It. Once you accept yeah. that, you take a picture and you accept that. When you, and, and, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. When you get an NFA, an NFA item, that gives the federal government any time they want to come to your house and look for that weapon. That's what it does. Mm-hmm. You just open the door to them, and it's going to be a lot of people doing it without even thinking because they're running scared. They all this big talk and umangaba and all this other stuff, and it's, it's ridiculous. But they're giving you guys a bunch of solutions that you can go by and what you need to do to, um, 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 you know, not be in fear that they say. Right. You know, if you read it. Right. And they say have more information about it so that you can understand what's going on. Once you read it, you will see that uh, one, you got 120 days to make a decision. After you make that decision, the basic uh, simplistic. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on, Mm -hmm. bro. If you don't file for the paperwork on the 120th day and it's not in their office by the 120th day Mm -hmm. and it shows up after. They're going to charge you $200. Right. Well, the, but, yeah. well, let me finish my goddamn Okay, point. go ahead. Go ahead my go point ahead. is, once you you got 120 days to, to, to read that entire document. How mm-hmm. about that? Once yes. you read that the document, you can make your own decision. If whatever, whatever decision you make, the bottom line is, if you take the stock off, the gun, the firearm is legal. Right. Right. So this is this is what they do. They're giving. That's, that's, that's my point. I know. It, it doesn't right, make sense. You, I'm not it doesn't make with. sense to to run and 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 cower or try to get away from this. Just just take it, it off. I mean, take it off. And leave it in your house. This is don't the tell anybody thing. about it. Don't. And this is the reason why I got rid of yeah. mine. Right. 
it doesn't make you shoot any better, right? When they went, and I got rid of mine before all the legalese came up. It, <laughs> I'm trying to make this, uh, okay. So when it, when you have it and you, um, and you're using it, it doesn't make it any better or, or worse if you don't have it. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. So the the stock, and I'm talking about these new ones. I think it's the I don't remember the name. The one that looks like a, a paddle for that you can roll with. The, it's almost like oh, let's make it simple. It's almost like owning a a, a, a switchblade or yeah. brass knuckle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can right. you can still possess them. Right. Okay. Yeah. So the bump stock band was reverse. Um. Uh, was overturned by mm-hmm. Supreme Court, so it's legal to own one. Right. Yeah. That so is saying. You- so b- basically, um, in reference to what uh, Invisible Hands is saying, and re- basically, they have a new piece of um, law. Uh, is it even a law? No, it's not law. It's a ruling. A ruling. It's a ruling. So how it's does it be? <laughs> how does it become? In- how is it enforced if it's a ruling? Well, there goes the problem. Let me read these scenarios and we'll talk about that. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah, there goes the problem. Uh, So here's scenario one that the ATF is given under the final ruling. You can turn in the entire firearm with the attached, listen to this, attached stabilizing brace to the ATF. So they can keep it. They're going to take the brace off and now you, them cats running around with your pistol. And uh, scenario two, you can destroy the whole firearm who in their right mind is going to do that and how are they going to know you destroyed it scenario three you can convert your short barrel rifle into a long barrel rifle so basically they're trying to say if you keep the stabilizing brace on it which is not making any sense putting a long barrel so you'll put a a, a 24 inch barrel on there a 16 inch barrel on there and then Mm -hmm. take the uh stabilize and brace off and put a stock on it so now you just turned it into a regular ar rifle or s- scenario four you can apply to register the, the uh, weapon under the nfa okay and that's taking a picture of it putting your serial number in and measurements and all this other good stuff according to the paperwork and turn it in and now they have you and that's exactly what they want. They want scenario four. And scenario five, you can permanently remove and dispose of or alter the stabilizing brace from the firearm so it cannot be reattached. So basically, they're saying take the brace off and crush it. That's basically what they're saying. Who in the right mind going to do that? Just take it off. Remember, the brace on the pistol is not illegal. I mean, the brace so, off the pistol is not illegal. So, but the brace on the pistol, you can buy the braces all day long until you attach it to a, a um, until you attach it to a AR that has a 10 and a half inch barrel. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah. So, um, I'm going to just go ahead and give this little piece up and I got this from um, uh, gun to guns association.org and it's uh, the ATF proposed ruling of 2021 R-08 uh, factoring criteria for firearms with attached stabilizing braces amends the definition to what defines a rifle to include any weapon fitted with an accessory that allows someone to shoot from the shoulder in other words pistol equipped with stabilizing braces will be classified as rifles and will be treated as such in the eyes of the U.S. government. This means, one, your firearm will be regulated under the National Firearms Act, also known as the NFA, and you will need to have a permit to own one in a lot of states. Two, you will need to pay additional documentary, documentary stamp taxes on your firearm. Three, if you are caught possessing a pistol, a pistol with a brace equipped and you haven't done numbers one and two, 
you will be charged with a felony. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. The firearm can be classified as an assault weapon, which is banned in some states. Mm -hmm. because it's now an SBR. They're saying that all of them are SBRs if they're attached, if you have that brace. If you on. have the brace on it. If you take right. the brace off, it's not an SBR. Exactly. So can, right. So, <laughs> Solution. So take Solutions. the brace off, people. Take yep. the brace off. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so give us the bump stocks back. Yeah, if you ever shoot a bump stock, you really don't want to shoot one. I mean, they're, it's right. almost like shooting a switch on a Glock. If, if mean, you want to hit your yeah. target, yeah. if you don't want to hit your target, put the bump stock on. Yeah, it's, it's not you real. Have, I, you have a lower probability of hitting what you're shooting at. Yeah, I can work my trigger finger just as fast. Mm -hmm. You know, you just learn, just do some practice and you can teach yourself how to shoot rapidly. And, There's also uh, plenty of drop-in triggers that you can buy, and I'm not even talking about binary. Go yeah. watch a three-gun match and see how fast those guys shoot and just listen yeah, to the can, cadence. You can put a two-and-a-half-pound trigger on a rifle any day, mm -hmm. and, it, and, it's, and it shoots like butter. You know what I'm saying? You just have to be careful and keep your um, your safety on and off. You Yo, know this one's for you. This one's for you. Firearms regulated under the NFA have a more stringent set of rules attached to them compared to the others. In this ruling, pistols and a pistol brace are considered short barrel rifles, which requires a permit from the U.S. Attorney General before transporting your gun across state lines. Right. So how they did it, because um, mm. I know somebody who did it and what they do, you have to contact the uh, local ATF or this in that state. And uh, you have to apply for an application. And the application allows you to have a 30-day, you have to do it two weeks prior to, prior to your trip. And it requires you to have a 30-day window where you can travel with an mm -hmm. NFA uh, weapon across state lines. Even if you're driving into a state and not even staying, you're supposed to fill out this application and let them know that this firearm is traveling from state to state. Because if they catch you, out, especially a state trooper, if they catch you outside the state with that fire, firearm, you just violated uh, state commerce laws and you are, you're done. Bye-bye to all firearms because you're not owning that one after that. They got to you know? catch you first. They got to catch you. They got to catch you first, but it's just that you're going to have that one overzealous cop. You know, he's going to get out there and he's going to be, you know, he's going to be sniffing around your car. He's going to bring up a dog. They're going to fake the dog to hit. Then so they can get in your car and search. Then when they search, they find this. And you just told them you didn't have any weapons. In there. Mm. <laughs> and now you got old Bubble out there. trying. To, he's like, oh, come on back here, boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or, 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 might, might even do the old broken uh, taillight trick on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be something. They can, they can get in that car. So, uh, you know, um, and, and most people can't act cool under pressure. So, you know, they're going to have to give a telltale twitch. They're going to be sweating. They're going to, you know, the pupils. And it just gives off to that person, that police officer. First thing, they're going to think you're running drugs. You know, they I'm thinking about you got an SBR in there. And when they find that SBR in there, you're done, bro. Especially you got a brace on there. <laughs> <laughs> wow see that see this is what we talked about many 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 moons ago about it being a loophole in the mm -hmm. very beginning when people were getting these um pistol uh rifle caliber pistols and using them and they not they were sub going around the sbr this one says this one and this is directly from the atf.gov this rule does not affect stabilizing braces that are objectively designed and intended as a stabilizing brace for use by individuals with disabilities and not right. for shouldering the weapon as a firearm. That Such stabilizing braces are designed to conform to the arm and not as a buttstock. However, if the firearm with the stabilizing brace is a short barrel rifle, it needs to be registered within 120 days from the date of publication in the federal registry. Now, the crazy thing is they just told you it. Federal registry. There is one. It exists, right? That's that's my right. rule. They already started. Uh, they started right. it years ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. with, but that thing is, with this reads on there, you can go to ATF right now um, and see it. If you're using it, like the original one that came out that had that... Um, that little cuff that you could put on your uh, forearm. If you're using it like that, based upon this, you're fine. 
It's only if you shoulder it. And that's what the key was. They were, and I'm telling you, you know, and I can pull, I think I'll find this article real quick. They were basically trying to call it, um, because all the new people that, that bought them, and they were saying that they were going to be mad because it was um, something that split the herd. Yeah. Um, right. But this is my philosophy, people. How are they going to know? If you put it up to your shoulder unless you at the range. Right. You taking pictures and then like let's go back to where you said how they're gonna enforce it. Most gun rangers are not gonna enforce that. You know, now some mm -hmm. gun rangers will like be like, get out of here and get out of here with that 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 firearm. Right. You know, but uh, then they're putting themselves in jeopardy because they don't know who they're talking to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you go you you may have a group of guys going in there shooting and now they're in there running around with braces and stuff and um and you're going to walk down in there and tell them all they have to go, they outgun you, you know? And, right. and it's not, customers. but what authority do you have? Yeah, and they're paying customers. Now you're just ruining your business over this, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, but um, I don't know. Then it comes down to that fine line that you need one person to turn that, that gun range in for harboring felons. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and showing pictures. Then now that gun range is going to get their license pulled. So it's, well, a, it's a think about this. Though. The federal government right now is jacking up a whole lot of rappers who told stories in their music, and those stories were based upon reality. So, do you think that they would not use that same technique if you're oh, they, taking yeah. pictures and videos on social media? Oh, you, you know they're gonna do it, exactly. and that's why I tell everybody: if you got pictures of braces and you're shooting with a brace on your shoulder, you need to take it down immediately. Immediately now is the time. Yep, it doesn't even have to be a date. Mm -mm. Well, because somebody will argue. Well, this is during the time that they said we could shoulder it. When was right. that? When was they that? They lie. Mm -hmm. They will people because everybody has haters. Everybody has enemy. So be careful. Get rid of it. You know, don't have it up. You know, it's not worth it. Nope. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is. Uh, crazy times we in but we all saw it coming you know and mm -hmm. uh but the thing of it is it's just these we got to get these neophytes and these idiots who don't know the law who act like they can't breathe who's sitting around on instagram facebook or whatever and going live and telling everybody falsehoods about what's going on because the only thing they're doing is panicking people right. and even when you go in there with a voice of reason they still don't believe it. You know? Just they're scared. Yeah. And then you're not yeah. saying anything that makes me not scared. You, what you're saying is just take it off. But the feds didn't say I could take it off. See, <laughs> the feds didn't tell me I could take it off. They just said that I had they to pay $200 said, and take a picture of it. They still clearly said. Mm -hmm. But they didn't read that. They didn't read right. that. They're, they're just listening to the talking heads and what the people who mm -hmm. are actually speaking about it. And right. that feels good. Okay, I'm following the law. That's what we, we spoke about that earlier today. We're all law abiding. Everybody that's watching this, everybody that uh, carries a gun that has a weapons carry license or some kind of concealed, even if you're doing everything legally in your state, you don't need a weapons carry license. You're a law abiding st uh, citizen. That's not mm -hmm. who it is. Th these are the people who are um, looking to continue to be even more, I don't know how, but even more of a law abiding citizen because they want to follow what the government's telling me, not what you are telling me. And that's exactly the uh, attitude that I'm seeing. I see on a lot of uh, back channels where a lot of people are saying, you know, opposite. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's their prerogative. They, they do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? You, they, you need to make that decision yourself. But if you're going to, if you're going to travel with that pistol, and go out of state with it if you're going to travel in the state with it in different counties you need to take that brace off because what's going to happen you're going to go to one of these areas and you're going to get pulled over like i said you're going to get one of these these anti-gun cops and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna throw you in the ringer and uh, you end up being losing all your gun rights because once they hit you with that felony and they 
run your records and find out you got more firearms they're coming to your home to get the rest of them right. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so uh you need to be careful with that uh, just take just take it off you know what i'm saying take it off if you need to have a um uh, uh an ar in your bag and you have a 16 inch barrel throw the 16 inch barrel on there and uh uh just take it apart and put it in your bag if you're going to travel. Dude, I, I've seen people who had uh, a legal length barrel with the stabilized brace because I think it's called a CAC or TAC or something like that. They like that one better. And I'm telling you that that thing looks like a, an oar for a canoe. Oh, that's the California yeah, variant stock. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and, you know, some people like that. And yeah. it's like, okay. I don't even think that one's in the ruling. They just no, 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 no. This, this is it, it's it's the one we saw today. Yeah, I know, but I, I think they completely circumvented around it. That one's not. I don't even think it's named. That one they, is. It has no stabilizing at all. I'm telling you, it is. It's more like a minimalist than anything else. Uh huh. Interesting. Um, that's very interesting. Um, yeah. So, you got to make decisions. And the decisions is get your butt on the phone. Shockwave. That's what it's called. Shockwave. Oh, okay. Shockwave, shockwave blade. Shockwave blade. And it's a pistol mm. brace. And it's on a stabilizer. But again, it's more a shoulder stabilizer. That it doesn't have really any attachment for a forearm. Mm. Okay, let me take a look at this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I almost bought one of these. Right, um, I'm about to share it. Yeah, go ahead and share it real quick. My oh yeah. Wait a minute, shockwave blade. Yeah, I think I. Yeah, I have those. That's it. That's 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 in the. Uh, that's. Okay, let me uh, pull that up. Yeah, I have. Uh, I've seen these. <laughs> Yeah. I've seen these. I, I mean, I know, I know guys that have these on, you know, rifles. Like literally have uh, sixteen and in some cases twenty inch barrels. It's just mm -hmm. they just like this minimalist style better than um, a, a traditional stock. Mm -hmm. But but now you know even with that length, but here's, that, here's, that's here's what they haven't thought it out well. Here's what they haven't thought it out well with a this full length. Falls. Go ahead. See with a full length rifle barrel say 16 to 20 inches and this on the back does that make it illegal yes because it's got the word brace in there mm, because of, because of the word brace but does it have um let me see where was i i'm gonna go back and stop that for a minute it has a word There's brace look, go back to the oh. atf let me go ahead now go ahead. Pull up the one you're just gonna. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm gonna search the one I was uh, looking at last but night. But see, it's not a short barrel rifle anymore. Even if it has the brace on it, it's not a short barrel rifle. This is where they, I don't think they thought this out too well, because you got a 16 inch barrel and uh -huh. a, and a, one of these stabilizers on the on the rear. The uh -huh. barrel length is not SBR, uh -huh. but this but the stock is quote unquote illegal. Mm. Right. Um, I, and I, and we talked about again. something earlier, and I, you heard me say a 16 inch barrel instead of an 11 inch barrel. 16 inch barrel, less right. even 20 inch barrel. 20 inch if barrel put, and a stop, yeah. and one of these stabilizers on the rear. And yeah, it's no longer a um, SBR. Right. If you have a 16 inch so, barrel, it's no longer an SBR. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're saying in rule in scenario uh the rule outline the FDA, scenario three they, convert a short barrel rifle into a long barrel rifle right. so if you put up and it's the barrel it's the mm -hmm. barrel length if you right. change that barrel length to a 16 inch barrel and keep that brace on there you're fine you or take so? the brace off yeah i think so i'm gonna consult my attorney yeah I think it says right here in scenario five, convert the short barrel rifle into a long barrel rifle. 
Okay, but st- and, and and with the brace, so the brace is not illegal anymore. <laughs> well, it's not an See? SBR. It's not an SBR. SBR. Here's is one. I think this may help. Under- this rule is effective the date it is published in the Federal Registry. Any weapons with stabilizing braces or similar attachment that constitute rifles under the NFA must be registered no later than 120 days uh, of the Federal Registry. Or the short barrel removed and a 16-inch or longer rifle barrel attached to the firearm, see? Or permanently remove and dispose of or alter the stabilizing brace such that it cannot be reattached or the firearm is turned into your local AT- <laughs> FTA office or the firearm is destroyed. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's your alternatives? That's that's your alternatives? Mm-hmm. That y'all really printed that ATF? FTA? Okay. Really wow. So this is what I'm going to show you guys. This is something. Here's a little here's a little appetizer here. To If you want to buy something that gets around the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. It negates uh, the, the illegal part of it. Yeah, an enhanced pistol cheek rest conversion kit. Okay, you get this kit right here, and you it's just a cheek rest. All right, now it clearly states at the bottom ATF it does not reclassify as an AKAR pistol or short barrel rifle. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So, ATF advisory, it didn't even fall under what they were even talking about. And if you don't believe them, they attached the ATF letter here, and uh, clearly stating what it's what. But in about two years, though, this would be on there. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know yeah. What I'm and, but, so but you look can, at it. You it's can, both course. It's you a full it. correspondence. Yeah, but mm-hmm. this is how you do it. That's a cheek rest. See, you just get your cheek on it, and wow. so you can still fire fire the rifle, and uh, but it's just your cheek. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But dude, you could do that with that that uh foam piece that would that originally came on it. Yes, you can do that. I'm just I'm just saying if you wanted something alternative to actually give you <laughs> extra support, you can put right. that cheek rest on there and that cheek rest kit and, and and it just works just just as well. Yeah. Yeah. Got us buying more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, you got to, mm-hmm. got you buying more stuff, or just take the brace off and just put the foam on there. You know right. what I'm saying? And uh, it still works the same. Still works the same. And the thing of it is, I'm telling you guys, if you have braces, do not show anybody, do not tell anybody, do not take pictures, do not take it out of your house. It's nobody's business. But nah, yours. man, you you living in in the fifties or Stone Age, bro. I, you gotta be seen. How you gonna be? How you gonna have something that nobody know you got? Uh, you crazy? Yeah, where, just, where you coming from, man? I'm just saying. You like I'm just saying, from, man. You gotta show and flex. Uh, what, 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 just, why they even made it Instagram if if I can't put it on Instagram? <laughs> Well, Instagram is for women and and, and, and fakers. You know what oh, I'm saying? Man. Don't don't get me dancing with my guns, bro. I'm about to start dancing. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna be doing the uh, what's what's the what's the what's the dance? I don't um, know. I'm gonna go on TikTok and learn some dances, and I'm gonna put my <laughs> I hold my guns in my hand to do, do my dance, bro. You got uh, that? You get me all hyped now, man. Well, you got to like, twirl I'm, them between your legs and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Go on there and do some pop locking with your guns. <laughs> See, that, that I know you old, man. And th- th- you you got to go on TikTok to learn to do you dance. You can't just be pop locking. <laughs> yeah, and then, then they don't know I'm old, Go on each hand and be pop locking. <laughs> That'd be a sight, wouldn't it? Oh, oh man. My. All right, I'm going to send you the link. Yeah, but that's a way to get around it, guys. If um, mm-hmm. uh, get that and uh, uh, I didn't give you guys a chance to see that website. That uh, hold on, let me uh, go. Back. Yeah, you, you didn't have. I thought you were keeping it yeah. that way. Okay, let me uh, go back and pull it back up. Uh, oh, I close it. Let me uh, search for this it. This is again. this is bonus content, guys, because you know we don't get a dime from these people. No, we're giving you good good information. We're giving you the sauce, man. We're giving you the sauce. Now I'm gonna show you the uh, the cheek wreck kits. How many kits they have? 
the one I showed you is the one that comes with the adapter. So you don't have to, it comes with the enhanced pistol kit. So you don't have to buy the adapter separately. So um, the website is actually, uh, if you can see that with Thorn. Uh, it looks like Thorson. Thornson Custom. Yeah, yeah Thornson Custom dot com <clears throat> and um <clears throat> i'll show you how to exactly get to navigate on the page here so to come up to this and you click on ar pistols cheek rest exactly for 53 dollars right okay and they got uh, a bunch of them these are the uh ar uh cheek rest these are ar ak enhanced if you want to spend a hundred dollars, you know, um, I don't, I haven't even looked at these. Let me take a look and see what, what's so special about them. That's on sale. I guess the original price is a hundred and nine. Oh, look at that design. Ooh, that's pretty neat, huh? Mm. That's too rich for me though. You ever see Omar shoot that pistol he had? Mm -mm, off his cheek? Ain't a brace. No, nah, I don't know. Cheek, no brace. Oh, he's just he got two. A, he got a one point sling, extends it. And goes to work. Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. Yep. But see, this has a 40-degree angle. So it gives you a, a bigger angle. So, so, I could, you, so I could mount it on my um my mandible. People, yeah, people with skinny skinny jaws. <laughs> oh, man. So I could put it on my mandible, my mandible, yeah. uh, what is it? mandible weld. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they got, the, uh, I guess these are the same ones, standard. You got different like colors on there. Yeah, different colors. CNA, you know, these are the CNA uh, uh, ones. They're like the Ronins. Mm. Everybody was buying the Ronins and stuff. Remember yeah, the Ronins? people can't shoot. There, a lot of people can't shoot out there. Mm -hmm. And that's so they they came out with these because remember the Roman the Ronins fall under the same thing as an SPR. Yeah, because and yeah. and and that's the crazy thing because that you're putting a pistol. A four-inch mm -hmm. barrel pistol doesn't extend the, the length of the pistol. Basically, you just put it in a holder, mm -hmm. and then but you got to SBR that or get some kind of right. paperwork, government paperwork. I'm good. Right. So I think I'll they had pass. shot show. If you look at this, they're currently closed uh, on Friday due to. Shows. Oh, is that is this that time? Yeah, it's January. Yeah, you know? they had shot show. So I forgot. So Everybody I usually shot zone out during this time because everybody right. in their mouth makes videos of being at SHOT Show. They're all the same. Mm -hmm. And so, they're all about guns and nothing ever comes out of there that's like revolutionary. No. Well, I know they're probably um, I guess they're over there. They're they're fasting at the mouth now with the ATF rule and they're running around spitting. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> Them dudes are like ah, cause they don't know what to do. Right. Because there's probably some companies up there that made some new braces and all types of stuff and put all this money into this. They got 120 days to sell it. <laughs> 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 I have a fire sale in about uh, two weeks. Yeah, it was uh, somebody. I, it's a local gun range I know that bought uh, thousands of braces. Wow. And we both know that range. Starts with an A. Mm -hmm. And uh, they brought thousands. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I stick with the foam. Yeah. yeah right yeah you can stick whatever you want to stick with stick with it don't tell anybody to stick with it don't show anybody what you're sticking with it's nobody's business you know what i'm saying but uh uh i do recommend not going down that registration of an nfa uh registration right. you will lose that firearm yeah eventually yeah. i mean it's you not over this is the beginning bro this and that's the, the thing beginning. that like what i was telling you earlier with these guys that you saw on that live broadcast they obviously have no clue because they they are setting themselves up for um unknown eventualities in the future mm -hmm. they have no idea right. what you what you you put your name on a list you have no idea what why right for number mm -hmm. one they're all saying that they had brace right Two, they are all saying they're going to register and trying to encourage other people. Other people, to right? And, and, and to me, when I hear that, I think these agent. Are, these are people who look like us. Right. You know, people who look like us. Mm -hmm. The all all the ones who saying, that, you know, everybody else is out to get them and all this other stuff, and 
you yep. know, I'm Billy Bad and nobody can touch me and all this stuff. But as soon as this ruling came out, every single one of them tail went between their legs. And there's too stupid to figure out. An Get in line and follow the head behind you or follow the head right. in front of you. No way. Right. Mm -mm. Right. You got to research and read this stuff, man. And, and mind you, we looked at this be prior to this. We had discussions about we looked this. looked at this months and, ago. And exact that too. But we understand it. And then you can see, as Al mentioned earlier, hey, just take it off. When mm -hmm. you finish reading it, just like, you, you want to keep the um uh, pistol, uh, rifle caliber pistol, take the damn thing off. And you could. Just take it off. Right. They yeah. didn't say you can't have a a, a, a a rifle caliber pistol. They said the brace is the problem. All right. Get What's up. more effective? Hitting somebody in the head with the brace or being able to have a fully functional firearm? Right. Go to your local gun store. If you live in Marietta, go to the vault. And uh, and uh, <laughs> go buy a a a, a stock mm -hmm. and see if they can order you an upper receiver. Right. You know what I'm saying? And now you just you take those two, put in your backpack. There's your kit. Yep. You know. What I'm I saying? saw a bag the other day. It wasn't that um wasn't outrageous, and it actually holds a 16 inch um AR. With the stock mm -hmm. collapsed, of course. Yes, yeah. And you get the collapsable size. stocks, right? Yeah, and, and I'm not even talking about thing. a folding, but, just a collapsible stock, and right. it, and a 16 inch barrel. And I mean, mm -hmm. I, I was like, wow. Yeah, I have a kit that does that. Yep, yeah. I have I already. I already. Yeah. That's what I said. I already have a bag, yeah. but I bought yeah. it a long time ago, and it was um, what's that called? Tennis. That's all mm. I'm gonna say. Okay. Tennis bag. Double yeah. double double racket tennis bag. Double double cheeked racket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, that's right. what you say. Exactly. Oh, oh. Take it off, cause when this, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. when the, yeah, hit, uh, it won't matter. Happens, it, hey, won't matter. Won't, it won't matter. There won't be no regulations matter. at that point. Right? You're gonna see guys running around with AT, eight, uh, uh, grenades. Yeah, grenades. Uh, yep, you're gonna see guys right. walking around with uh, anti tank weapons. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna see guys walking around with. M60s, and then you're going to be like, where did that come from? Your exactly. own neighbor that you don't even yep. know about. You know yep. what I'm saying? But he never flossed on the gram. Right. You you never knew this guy had a stockpile in this house. Exactly. <laughs> and he was just sitting there waiting. He's going to be running around outside with some dirty underwear on. <laughs> <laughs> with some heavy weapons just going nuts. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So Nobody yeah. knew that Bertrand was stashing a full foot plaque of M sixties. Mm hmm. Yeah. You you have no idea what your neighbors are doing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, none. Not a clue. Until it gets leaked out, then you're like, oh my God, these guys too wow. late. Yeah. You know? Or mm -hmm. you realize they've been you guys in the same mindset, you're like, well, why you know, he could have reached out, we could collab, but he's sticking he to didn't himself. Trust you. Right. He didn't he trust, trust you. you. Yeah. So he see he see flossing on the gram. He's like, nah, he talked too much. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, so yeah, just take it off. Nobody will know. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But don't register. And uh but there are alternatives, you know. So you can buy those those cheap well things. If you're gonna travel out the state and you think you need something to help stabilize the rifle, buy that cheek well kit, put on there. And you can take it out of the state. And so it's not a problem. Or you can just take a full breakdown in a bag and just take it out of state. You're not going to be able to. Just remember, if you if it's in the bag, if something happened, what are you going to do? Drop your backpack <laughs> and pull out a, a, uh, time out. Uh, time out. a pistol? Time out. Op, op force calls time out. Um, you got. Oh, yeah. I, have a, right. I have two minutes to get ready. Right. It takes these guys three or four <laughs> minutes to get those things out and get functional. And uh, mm -hmm. it's stupid. Then, and if you do have enough time to get it out, now you just turn yourself into an active shooter. <laughs> right. So it's, right. Just, it's like, come on. Exactly. Yeah, and the ATF, yeah, won't be around when when it, well, when the stuff hit the fans. No, they, they may won't. be the cause of it. Yeah, they may be, the, be cause. the cause of it. Yeah. The, the next, the next in, uh, uh, resurrection riot, whatever, would be the uh, brace ruling riot, mm -hmm. the brace rule riot. Can you imagine that? Right. So if something don't happen in the 120 days to stop these guys, it's going to be something that's going to kick off. 
Oh, and, I, I hear it so bad. And I had a conversation recently, and it was about that. Let's see. You, these guys have been talking all this stuff about if they do this, if they do that. Let's see if those, if they do that, if they actually show up and do something. Right. I wish they would do that. Okay, they did it. Now your turn. Right. Right. Well, half those groups, what is that? Uh, what was that black group? Uh, uh, that was, uh, they all had, a lot of them had braces. <laughs> Oh man, you mean the guys with the the twenty two jammed in the yeah, in, yeah, in the yeah, uh, yeah. chamber? Yeah. Them uh, the guys that was most vocal. A lot of them had braces and stuff. Well, the so, leader was locked up. He's still locked up. Is he? He's in jail. Well, he, no, I don't think he's in jail. Or he's, he's uh, uh, waiting he for DC? trial. Is but he see, he DC? was a government stooge. I was about so to say, you notice his, his trial. Yeah, his trial never occurred. Mm -hmm. They he's said, yeah. How do you go? That was two years ago. That was before the. Uh, <coughs> Where everybody had a cough. Yeah. And and we still haven't heard from his trial. Right. Cause there, come on, man. I, I've been telling people for the longest, this dude, he was a government yeah. agent. Yeah, there it is right there. Uh, N -F -A yeah, that's it. That's it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What a joke. Stupid ass name. And the dude, we haven't seen or heard anything about his trial because there is none. And mm -hmm. he's gone. Mm -hmm. But he got he got everybody on on video and and uh, pictures Name. taken with with a whole bunch of people who would uh, run behind somebody that would make make some kind of assertions as this guy did. Mm hmm. And just there you go, Grandmaster. That's it. Yep, Grandmaster J. Yep. Yeah. Never use his real name. Always mm -hmm. Grandmaster Nick J. Yeah. Man, he's probably sitting somewhere. He's the promoted. same dude that was at the Trump rally. He was at the That's Trump right. rally. Then he, 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 went, he, he, he jumped. Was no, he was sitting down in the crowd. Somebody gets unruly. He went and handled that. He helped the he guy handle it. He was security. That's what I'm telling you. He was and security. then he goes back to his seat. Right. No, he, he's a stooge, bro. He is a, a shrill. He is a government agent. Then he's at another rally talking about, um, what was that rally called? Was it Make America Great? And he was mm -hmm. MAGA and doing all that stuff. But yet he ran back in front of the Democrats and, and act like he was one of their boys. Mm. Double agent. There's all yeah. videos all over YouTube. Yeah, I've seen the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was definitely getting paid. But I think oh, it was yeah. AT. I think he was, was either FBI, ATF, one of the two, mm -hmm. and was yeah. undercover. Yeah. yeah. So now he's in hiding. That guy, you know. All of a sudden just yeah. disappeared. After pointing yeah. guns at more agents who were on a on top of a building doing surveillance, they see him. Uh, he points a rifle at one of them while the guy's on with binoculars, and that's that's the charge. He got some mm -hmm. kind of assault charge against him. Yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, that's the kind of thing that you know people who like that that go half cock. And I think the same thing with those two guys that you saw earlier today that are telling people to just go ahead and capitulate and take your picture um, and fill out your forms. No, mm -hmm. don't do that. Read it for no. yourself. Read it for yeah. yourself. And if you decide after reading it that you need to fill out forms and take pictures of firearms and send it in, then good that, luck. That's, that's on you. You you, yeah. you you suffer the consequences because it, they clearly state you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're doing that if you want to. You know? So yeah. Let me see if I find that post that I'm telling you about. For who? Dude, he, he, there was guy, this guy was telling people to just basically surrender. Where on the face book, oh, on the book of face, faces. face crook, yeah, 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 and a lot of people are gonna do it. I guarantee you, they're gonna get about roughly about 2,000 people who surrender before in this 120 days or more, you know, and that's gonna be enough for them to say, Okay, well, you no longer need those, you know. Um, uh, but if it's two thousand out of ten, eight to ten million, that's really not a drop of the bucket. It's not going to hurt mm -hmm. anything. But uh, but it's going to be a lot of folks out there doing that. So tell who is who? Who is he? Who are you talking about, Grandmaster uh, Jay? Me? I don't know who he said. Who is he? Question mark. Oh, that's uh, the guy that there was the leader of that NFAC or whatever it was called. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a, the head uh, supreme. Uh, <laughs> He's just double, double number, uh, chief. Uh, uh, 
He is known. He is well known in the 2A community. Oh, you're talking about Grandmaster J? He's a clown. Yeah, Grandmaster J. That's the dude that called the AR-15 a bullpup. Yeah, he was a he's a clown, dude. He said he bought his yeah. first AR in was, um, Germany. Yeah, he was a clown leading clowns, man. You know, he was he was a guy who was a joke. There was a whole breakdown on on the internet. The guys torn mm -hmm. apart. Yeah, um, the truth. Yeah, they went through his military and all that stuff. I think he was support or something like that. Wasn't even dealing with military guns. Mm -mm. Uh, the guy, oh, the guy on uh, Facebook push and register. Oh, okay, he's well known in the community. Yeah. Uh, who was it? Yeah, you know who he was. A screenshot of something like that. Then uh, I don't know if we can. Yeah, he won't be able to show it to us. Okay. But, but you can put it in Instagram and we'll see it and we'll bring it up. You know. Yeah, the guy we was talking about. Mm. But I say, all you guys, you listening, tell your friends, just take them off. That's all you got to do. Just take yep. them off. And if you have solves one, that's all. Problem. Yeah. Very simple. It's, solves the problem. Don't register. Take them off. Um, if they want to stock on there, tell them to put a 16-inch barrel on it. That's all you got to do. And uh, they want it in the backpack, just tell them to take it apart. Put it in the backpack. You're still good to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's asking us. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know who the guy is. I think Al's still looking for who he yeah, is. Yeah, I was looking for him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was I'm looking for him. I saw it and just kept on scrolling, man. That that's in my um mature years, that's what I do. I see stupid mm -hmm. stuff and I just keep on rolling. Yeah. I ain't got time. It, it, yeah. It's not worth it. But mm -hmm. uh yeah, the dude was on some um just like telling people straight up just to go ahead and register. It's a free uh, NFA uh, tax stamp. And I'm like, bro, you, you stupid. You stupid. Mm -hmm. It's $200. And I think that right. there is some kind of amnesty. I'm not sure 100% on that, but I think there was. The amnesty, amnesty is 120 days. That's the amnesty. No, but That's I mean, if you, if you do it at a certain time, you don't have to pay for it. That's the amnesty. One hundred and twenty days, not one hundred and twenty-one days. A hundred. We have until now, until uh, was that the ruling happened yesterday? So now you got one hundred and nineteen days to uh, put your paperwork in, send it in, and tomorrow will be one hundred and eighteen days. So it, the clock is counting; it's ticking. You know, so just take it off. You know. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest way to solve the problem. Just take it off. So right. now you just got a regular pistol. Still works. Yep. You know? I'd rather have that there's something that works than some little um one or the other, I'll take the pistol. Put it that way. Yes. Right. After 120 days, it'll cost you two hundred dollars. Exactly. For each firearm that you have like that. So if you have five, you're looking at thousand dollars and you got to wait uh was it 90 to 100 days before the paperwork comes back so you still can't transport it out of your home until you get the paperwork to come back wow oh yeah so it's just like uh buying a can you can't just when you buy a can you just can't take it out of the gun store the gun store holds on to the can until till you're approved then they call you and tell you come pick it up. And guys have been waiting. Some guys wait for six months. You know what I'm saying? For mm -hmm. those cans to come more. into. Yeah, or more. It used to be more. It was, it was yeah. one of them un, undetermined, unknown time periods. So you got to look at these. Everybody who's registering these is not going to come back quickly because you got people registering for SBRs. You got people who are registering for cans. So now you just put the mix in that everybody's going to be registering for Braces now. Mm -hmm. So if it was 90 days to 100 days now, you're looking almost a year before you're going to get your uh, NFA item certificate back. So that means that firearm is going to be sitting in your house for a whole year because you can't take it out because you pass the 120 day mark. Now, if you get arrested after that 120 day mark, your NFA, e even if it's going through, you still haven't been approved yet. It's a process that you can look in to see when it's approved so you know you get it. But 
you must have the certificate to stamp in your hand possession with the rifle in order to get out of any legal situation. Mm. Yeah, that's the way it works. It actually looks just like a tax stamp, you know, and it's a gigantic stamp, a tax stamp that's in green writing that they give you from the federal government that says, boom, uh, this is now official. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Then you better have a trust because the day you die, all NFI, NFA items, the day you die, gets confiscated by the ATF. See, you know, so, that's the fine print most people don't read. Uh -huh. You better get a trust and take that trust and have those firearms willed to somebody else because the day you die, they come to confiscate every single one. Every single, single NFA item they come to take. You know, not even going to play around. I knew it was a um, a lady who was telling me her husband died. He was a uh, he was a police officer, and he had his um, he had a uh, NFA item at his house. I think it was a um, a service rifle. Mm -hmm. And the day he died, she said that he wasn't even in the ground cold. They were wow. knocking on the door for that rifle. The next day. She buried him the, that day, that day, and the next day they were there. Ma'am, uh, you got that rifle? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. So it it triggered. What happens is it, it's, once your death certificate hits, it triggers the ATF. Those items is all tied to your name in the death certificate. Boom. And mm -hmm. there it is. You know? So it's official now. Oh, hey, what's up, Omar? Uh, I don't know what that is. It's official now. Yep. Sounds official, but it is official. Yep. But that's the bad news, oh, guys. Oh, see, yeah. So after after 120 days, it'll cost. Mm -hmm. After 120 oh, days. No. So now we got right. 190. So that's what the dude was saying, that it's free until they're 120. Right. But see, they, you can't that, keep that, saying... That, that, you can't keep saying 120 when you a, a week out. You can't keep saying, well, it's, you got 120 days. No. Mm -hmm. The ruling happened yesterday. So we have 119 days now. Tomorrow will be 118 days. So it's counting down. Right. No, I got you. But I'm saying, yeah. but when that time is up, it's $200. It's $200. And a photograph. And a Well, photograph is even with the free one. Right. The photograph is with the free. You have to mm -hmm. do everything you got to do nope. with the free one. You can that stop. You got to do with the paid one. You can stop anytime you're ready. You can stop. I'm done. Right. <laughs> I ain't doing none of that. You can stop. Right. So just mm -hmm. take it off. It's not illegal yeah. to own it. It's not illegal to own a brace. Remember that. It's not a felony to have it in your possession. As long as you don't stick it on a rifle with a barrel. That's shorter than 10 and a half inches. 16. Oh, oh, is it 16 now? 16. 16. Okay. The six yes, is shorter than 16. Anything inches. shorter than 16 is an SBR. Right. Right. That, that, right. Mm, yeah. Got no need for those. Yeah. None. So just you can keep it in your closet. You can keep it anywhere you want. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that, that, that includes the vector, the Chris vector. Oh, yes, the Crick's Rector falls under that, mm -hmm. too. But they didn't name it, though. Right. And it, and that thing is a pistol. Yes. It, it's, it's 45, 9 millimeter. I think it's, they may have made a 10 it, millimeter. It's one. legally a pistol. Right. So hey, but if they, you put a brace on that, because, I mean, you see the design of that thing. That You hold it in that. It's like something from up. the future. Let me, let me pull it up. Chris <laughs> like, Yeah, without the handle, without the stock on it. That thing is like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. At this point, I'm just going to get any ordinary 45 uh, pistol. Because the only thing you get more, I don't even know. I think you do get more ammunition out of the vector. Um, yeah, this is weird. Um, they have several different configurations. So let me pull it up real quick. Yeah, get the one without the stock, and you'll see it's like. Oh, yeah, I, that's what I was looking at. That's what. Uh, that's what had me a little. I think it's, a, it's called the this base. one. You're, you're talking about this one? Yep, that right there. 
Yeah. Now, now try think even with a uh, a single point strap on that. Just try shoot that thing. I never shot one. Have I you shot, shot one? I shot the one with the uh, the that one at the top. It looked okay. Like that. This one. Yep. You shot that one. Yep. It looks like okay. The the uh, stock was a little bit different. It wasn't as advanced as that, but it was on that same line. So how was it shooting this one? It's it's flat. Uh, as I said, I never shot it like that. <laughs> oh, you never shot it like this. No, oh, but you I shot it. I don't like think I, I don't think I want to yeah. shoot that. Yeah, I don't even you think shot I want to shoot that. Up, man. Yep. So, vectors are so expensive. Mm, they come gonna... down now. They're in there like maybe fifteen hundred. Oh, okay, because they yep. were two thousand plus. Well, uh, now mind you, this is uh, the one I looked at was semi-auto, and it's got the barrel like that, like a sixteen-inch barrel on it. It looks just like the one there right there. Yeah. Right, without, and like, mm -mm. yeah, no, because the Chris has a this has a um, that's a 16 inch barrel, I think. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it's a 16 inch barrel, yeah. And some of it, with the, I'm talking about the original uh concept of it, okay. But that these are 45s, mm -hmm. these are, uh, I think the original one was 45. Not, yeah, 45, and then they're making them nine millimeter because I see this one right here, is, that's a nine millimeter. You know, and everybody's fucking cans and stuff on them. So mm -hmm. uh, they're flat shooters. Yeah. You know. Right. So it's, the so SBR is a little bit different than yeah. the Yeah, see, these don't fall on the SBR because it's a 16-inch barrel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so that's how they get away with it. They put a full 16-inch barrel in it. And it's like, it's exactly. not an SBR. Even though the whole thing is 24 inches long. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. That's crazy. It is crazy. So yeah, they're, yeah. they're coming right out of um, Chris. They're at sixteen hundred nowadays. Right. Maybe I should get rid there of a bunch to be of more. stuff and get me one. You know. Yeah, but. Yeah. What? Okay, and just say okay. You don't think you so? Know, you know, Mom always said if you if you don't have nothing good to say, just say uh, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that's no. nice. I'm not getting one. I, you know, I, I don't like the design. He's the adorable. It yeah, this is uh, they, they, uh, Chris. Well, is mind you, that the way that that gun is designed, I shot a 45 caliber one. The way that gun is designed, it uh, it sucked all the uh, um, recoil up. It is really a fun oh, yeah. shooting gun. It has a gyroscope. It has a gyro. Has a gyroscope into the handle that keeps it flat. That's that's and okay. Israelis made that firearm and they made it very well. It's uh. You can take it apart with just a couple of clicks and remove the mm -hmm. whole barrel uh, group. And that's why it was going from uh, nine millimeter to 40 to 45 with the barrel group being transferred out. And so um, it is very easy gun to work on. It's a very easy gun to convert from uh, left to right. You can just switch parts over just quickly on the fly and you can even drop the trigger out and put another trigger housing in there very simple it's design is made for field operations you know and uh but it's just so expensive you know and uh oh, my next door neighbor when he lived next to me he had two of them so he kept trying to get me to buy one i was just like dude that's like 2200 yeah so, back then in 08 when i fired yeah 08 and 09 they were about that yeah but i'll trade two ars for one you know what i'm saying mm. so yeah i had no problem you know ar is a dime a dozen anyway you know what i'm saying so yeah i'll trade a couple of them for one just to have it that that'd be the ultimate sbr you know what i'm saying right so you can get around the law that way you know so until they hit that <laughs> you're like oh my god i got a 1700 dollars paperweight because <laughs> you, you can't take that out of the house at all you know what i'm saying mm -mm. so but uh oh you guys like 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 we're on rumble we're on youtube please like we're on rumble st uh and we got over 500 close to 600 people on rumble following us Please like, hit the little. We had our numbers on um, YouTube went up. We got uh, we're over one hundred and fifty. Yes, so hit the uh, um, subscribe, like, share. 
the boxing bubble on rumble the boxing fist and mm. subscribe and on youtube please subscribe and like try to get our numbers up so we can get this thing going next week we got a surprise we went out to a uh do a shoot today at uh, the, the vault, vault. Yep. uh shooting range and um yep, we're counting down and uh so in Marietta, and uh, we will have that show. Will be brought to you guys next week, and um, on on our experiences and what it was like. Yeah, and uh, we good do people that. out there too. Real good people. Shout Great. out to the vault and staff, yeah. Matt, and all the guys. Yeah, they he was open arms to us coming out there and doing Big Second our, Amendment supporter. Our shoot, huge. Yeah, Second Amendment, and we had a great conversation after and um i mean it's a great place i'm gonna have to frequently go over there and hang out with him a lot more yeah and, i think i'm trying to get up there for a couple of those matches mm -hmm. oh you are you know. oh mm -hmm. lord oh lord, mm -hmm. lord, right. lord. break off the old rust <laughs> Dude, i just don't see the find the front sight find the front sight <laughs> You better, you better put some WD forty on you now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> get the old knee braces back out. Get the I braces there, out. I went up there and shot two gun with them boys, and I had a, you know, it took me a while to get the dust rolled off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That took me oh, yeah. like two stages before I got warm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was pretty funny. It's good but, stuff uh, though. Yeah, but I'm gonna probably bring the, uh, bring the old sig mpx out of, I, out of hiding it's coming I, dude and that, that i think that i thought that was what you were doing you were just setting them up you was going to use old frankenstein just let him see i use frankenstein get you moving i know yeah. and then mm -hmm. then flip it on him with the uh um, yeah. the sig yep. the sig is coming out mm -hmm. and, uh, much and flatter go. shooting gun oh my god that thing talks mm -hmm. you know i just got to keep it clean so yep. but it's been clean it's been clean since the last event it's been stored sitting there just in a nice little plush bag you know what i'm saying just sitting there just screaming at me like take me out <laughs> you might want to pull up anytime now bro it, 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 i think we have some kind of um pg rating you you're really encroaching on it <laughs> but, uh, taking this level just taking us to a new exotic level that we oh, may not want to be at i love that rifle i just hate doing maintenance on it man I hate it. I hate it with passion. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Got to use Dremel and everything, bro. That's just stupid. You know what I'm saying? But you want to win. That's what you have. You yep. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, we want to thank all you guys for participating with the show, watching, yeah, man. asking questions, interacting with us. And um, like I said, just uh, like the show. Uh, oh, you actually clean something? Yeah, yeah. That, is, that one he does. That one he that does. That one I does. And let me tell you, uh, let me tell you how I clean that thing, man. I take it apart and I put my glasses on with a light. <laughs> I get my little Dremel with my wire brush and I'm polishing all the little chrome parts and making sure they're perfect. You know. Then I put. Then I let it sit for a while and put some Teflon spray on it. <laughs> Then Explain to them why you do this. What happened? Oh, okay. When you don't do that, it builds up <laughs> carbon, and that gun will not run right at all. That's why. And and it was a he lie. learned the hard way. It was a lie from Sig, and I talked to a special operator who was uh, help fielding those guns to the uh, special forces, uh, the MCX. And he was saying they don't hardly ever clean those guns or whatever. And I was like, really, dude? So I tried to do it, and yeah, it caught me. It caught me on a match, and it made me lose. I, just, I, I packed, you know, I packed up and went home, dude. Yep. I packed up and went home. I was like, <laughs> I was like, they was like, this use my rifle, use my rifle, man. And I said, I said the hell with that. I said I'm out. <laughs> I packed up and I left. Do you remember the Glock story? Yeah, yeah. I've never seen it. Yeah, but see, you can't you can't do that with every gun. Nope. Now, the Glock, I can do that all day long, every day. Mm. I can't do it with this Rock Island 1911. <coughs> I got a rub on it. You know, mm -hmm. keep it clean. You know what I'm saying? 
but uh, just some guns you you got to know the tolerance level. Some yeah. of them you take them to the range to shoot box of fifty, and they're done. Yep. You know, what I'm saying? You, and, you start seeing that corrosion start to build up, and you see mm-hmm. you start turning white first, then it turns a, a, a light green. Mm-hmm. You know, something's up. Yeah, and then it turns into a gigantic paperweight. Oh, I think SIGs are high maintenance. I think the ones, at least had. The ones mm-hmm. I had. Yep. Yep. They're and all- if you get some of the old, uh, the 226, they actually started rusting um, mm-hmm. if you didn't put a coat of oil or something on it. And I mean, mm-hmm. I've seen guys, um, Secret Service guys who had them in their holsters that, you know, some were better than others. And the ones that were terrible, man, that thing rusted right in the holster. Now, uh, I have a SIG 556 cl- Classic. And that is a beast. Mm-hmm. You don't have to clean that thing, you know, because it's got the different bolt system. You know, maybe it's got the bolt system that that uh, that rotates. Right. And uh, I mean, that is a you don't have to clean that gun at all. It shoots like a beast. It took me a long time to finally get one of those, you know. Right. But uh, but, uh, but these new SIGs, they're crap. They're crap. Yeah, they shoot crap. Well. They're crap on maintenance. There you go. You got to do they need, they need They need pampering. How about that? Mm-hmm. Right. They need pampering. I mean, but uh, they run pretty hard. You can run them, and you can run them hard, but you just got to uh, do a lot of maintenance on them. Look like something's wrong with our uh, our um, chat. It's like yeah, it's I, see it, I see it flipping, it, yeah, it, and nothing's yeah. there. Yeah. I refreshed it, and I didn't see anything. Mm-hmm. We're good. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, man. Appreciate you guys once again. Yep. Thank you again. Like and share. Please like, 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 and subscribe. Yep. We're trying to build up. All that activity really helps. Even a comment. If you're watching this at a later date and not the the date that it, we actually went live with it, comment. Good, bad, and different. It helps us out. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're trying to build up the likes to get like, uh, like uh, Rumble, and let's mm-hmm. see what happens here. You know. Yep. And. Uh, But we'll see you guys on the range. See you on the range, uh, guys. Talk to you later. Out. Out.